So how to categorize any iPhone footage? Of course, there are many different ways, but I will show you one of my ways how to do it. So as you can see, we got a few different clips in here. We got some normal iPhone footage from the normal camera app. We also got some HDR footage. So when you go to your iPhone settings and activate HDR video, this is what you get. And also we got some epilogue footage from the Blackmagic camera app, which I can really recommend if you want to shoot an epilogue because you can control everything. Also, you get a preview of the Rec. 709 footage because you can use LUTs in the Blackmagic camera app. So now we got different formats in the timeline and it's not converted. So we first want to convert the footage to Rec. 709 so it's all the same. Now we got to view different options on how to convert it to Rec. 709. You can use the color space transform tool in DaVinci Resolve on every clip and do it manually. The quickest way to do it is by going to the settings, color management, switch to DaVinci Y RGB color managed. And if you want to work in DaVinci White Gambit, you can switch that here by clicking on automatic color management so it's deactivated and then you can choose HDR DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate. But in this case, I want to work in Rec. 709. It's not the most professional way to do it, but it's the quickest way for me. So now we want to press save and now everything is converted. We obviously have to do some adjustments on the clips and the epilogue footage is too dark and the HDR footage is too bright. With the HDR footage, you will always get some overexposed footage, but there is an easy fix for that. And if you want to do several adjustments, you can make a few notes. You can fix the overexposed footage by just dragging the custom curves up here and pull in, pulling them down a bit. Now we want to do some exposure adjustments on this clip here. So first note, white balance again, and the second one for contrast and exposure. I'm just gonna call it exposure. And now I want to use the offset wheel first. Then I want to work with the gamma, maybe the gain, but it will, no, it will blow out my highlights, so I, I won't use it. Then the lift to get the contrast back. And has been exposed wrong so it will look a bit off but but it will still look good so now we can go to this one i'm just gonna copy everything i won't do any exposure or white balance adjustments on the clips that have been shot on the regular camera app now we want to switch over to the actual color grading process and there of course there are many different ways to do it if you want to have the same look on every clip in the timeline you can click on clip and switch to timeline so now you have control over the whole timeline so you just have to make the look once and not for every clip so my way of color grading is using a plugin called the answer it gets you the film look on the footage it's really quick you can use a lot of presets like the Kodak Vision 3 250D which is pretty cool and also there is a 10% discount code in the description if you want to check it out and of course if you don't want to pay any money for color grading I will show you a free way after this so first I want to see which one looks the best we can also use some push and pull and when you're color grading the whole timeline it's very important that you switch the clips in between color grading so that you see what you're actually doing on all the clips so now I want to use the Kodak 2383 film print I want to increase the color density of course and and also increase some of the contrast. Now I want to activate film compression because that compresses the highlights so it looks like it has more dynamic range then. Now I want to increase the contrast a bit more and this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. It gives you the film look a bit. So now I want to show you the free way on how to do it. Call this one contrast. For this one I'm going to use the curves and here I'm going to use the hue curves. And on the third note I want to work with lift gamma and gain. So first let's work with the contrast. Pull down the, the top part, the bottom part a bit and then I want to try out what looks the best okay this is what the contrast node does and now i want to switch over to the hue versus and now i want to pull up the yellow so it gets a bit more orange and the green isn't green anymore it's yellow gives you a little bit of a fall look like it's fall time it's october and i want to pull on the greens then i want to pull up the blues so the blues are getting more teal now i want to finish it off with the lift game on gain but before that i want to see how the other clips look and they look pretty good. This one is still pretty dark. And I think I want to make it even warmer. So I'm pushing the gain to the left. So it gets more yellow or orange. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Some clips might need some adjustments. But in general, it looks pretty good. So this is the color grading workflow I use for iPhone footage. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.